Warning, Superpower Review is intended for a mature viewing audience. This video may show images that are not suitable for kids under 13 years old. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up everybody, it's Ken Vigini here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are gonna be looking at the DC Designer Series Frank Miller Batman statue made by DC Collectibles. But before we get into this beautiful statue, let's take a look at the box. So as you can see here, we get a nice shot of the statue right up front on the box. And here we have another shot of the statue here. Um, it says that the statue measures up approximately eight inches and the statue is sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. I don't know if that matters to you. It doesn't really matter to me other besides that he did a really fantastic job, but we'll get into that in a second. And on the back here, we get pretty much a uh, little bit information about the statue and some other statues that are available here. Um, another side shot of the statue and on the top we got a fat Batman logo, okay? So that's pretty much it for the box. Let's get into the statue. Man, I am super, super, super excited for the statue. So before I get into the statue, a huge shout out goes to Boston Bat, who messaged me on Instagram telling me that the New England Comics and Brockton had this statue. And I called Brockton, told them to send it over to the New Bedford store, and um, there I was able to buy it. So this statue was $150 on pre-order and I'm glad I did not do that because ever since the statue has come out, the statue has been ranging from $100 maxing at $130. And I'm glad I did not pre-order this. And I don't really like to pre-order statues because I also like to take a look at them in person first. So when I first heard that this statue was about eight inches, um, I was a little bit disappointed disappointed. I thought it should have been a little bit bigger, but now seeing in person, it is the perfect size. That's what she said. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, this statue is based off of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns comic book issue number two. And as you can see, Jonathan Matthews was on point with this statue, man. Holy cow. It is identical to the cover. Every little bit of detail, the, the wrinkling in the gloves, the gloves being all ripped and the knuckles shown through, the rips and tears on the statue match right up to the comic book art, Frank Miller's art. It's absolutely impressive on how they got comic book art to a statue. Absolutely amazing. So um, I'm gonna take them off of the base here so we can take a look at the base. By the way, this statue is limited to 5,000 pieces. So there's not a lot of them. So here is the base. So nothing fancy. We got two holes for the peg to go in and we have a nice embossed Batman logo in yellow. And then on the bottom here, we have the DC Collectibles logo. And this is number 1,537 out of 5,000. So Batman here has two metal pegs on his feet so he can go securely into the base like so. There we go. All right. And then uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look of the sculpt of the statue. So let's look at the cape and uh, nice rippling of the cape here. I really like the colors of this statue. Personally, I'm not a uh, huge fan of a gray and blue Batman. My favorite is the black and gray, but it really works for this statue here. And then, um, we have a lot of wrinkles here. We got lots of tears in his in his costume. And it kind of just shows up how beat up Batman is after fighting the mutant leader in The Dark Knight Returns. Man, super, super detailed statue. The head sculpt is what does it all for this statue, to be honest. I mean, he looks super beat up. If I turn him here, you can see he's got the mutant leader's like claws scratched across his face. 
So you see a lot of the wrinkles on the forehead here, which is pretty significant for a Frank Miller drawing. And then if I maybe tilt him, you can see the scratch marks across his chest from the mutant leader as well. So this statue is made out of polyresin. Normally on the show, I review a lot of PVC statues. So this one is not PVC. You wanna be careful with this one. This one can break pretty easily. And this statue is absolutely amazing. I'm super happy to have it in the collection. I am a Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns fan. The comic books is not what made me a fan of the Dark Knight Returns. It was the Batman animated movie that made me a fan of The Dark Knight Returns. I thought The Dark Knight Returns animated movie was absolutely amazing. When I started reading the comic books, the story is absolutely amazing. It's just that I, I wasn't a huge fan of Frank Miller's comic book art at the time. So guys, if you are a fan of The Dark Knight Returns and Frank Miller's Batman, this statue has to be in your collection. And if I had to give this statue a review based off of the CGC grades, this statue deserves a 9.8. So guys, if you thought this statue review was helpful, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here to the channel, also subscribe. I would gladly appreciate it. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.